Hi friends, welcome back. Today I'm going to show a video on how to do uh, memory scene in Fibaro. Like for example, generally in Fibaro we have scenes where you turn on a set of lights, turn, turn off a set of devices, etc. And uh, whenever you play that scene again, the same things get executed. But recently a user of Fibaro uh, had a requirement. Uh, he said that his room has some six seven lights and he might be using just uh, a two lights and a fan at any instant at some point of time when he wants to go out of the room he wants to uh, press a button to switch off those active devices and when he comes back he will press another button another switch where uh, whatever was active when he left the room all of them should come back for example only those two lights and one fan must come back uh, he didn't want the entire room to be lit up or something like that uh, so basically he wanted a scene where it stores the memory of the active devices so um, that's what i have implemented here in this uh, solution let me walk you through it maybe you'll find it useful and you can use it for your uh, installation or your home also so let's start so this is the quick app i have created um, so what happens here is uh, i have created a generic device quick app and i have created two variables over here uh, the, the one variable name is living all device where i have put all the devices in my uh, living room device IDs of them for for me here. It is uh, 37 and 38 and uh, active device this variable uh, It is used when uh, you know, for example when he when the user switches off and goes out of the room Whatever was active in that room in that particular instant will be stored here. So in this case um, the user must have turned on 38 and been using the light for some time and when he goes out he switches he presses the switch off button over there and it stores the uh, 38 the, the device that is used over there and uh, this is my quick app uh, for me it's just a prototype or you know just for uh, a solution i've made this uh, you may extend these buttons like this is for just one room you may extend it for multiple rooms also i'll show you We'll, we'll get into that so I've just created two buttons on and off uh, so when the customer uh, presses this off button the lights or whatever active lights or fans or whatever the uh, devices in the room will switch off and uh, when he comes back and presses his button on whatever was switched off already active already it will again be turned on uh, you can create a scene for triggering this quick app buttons and uh, these are the code for that um, i'm sure if you can read through the code it is quite simple uh, for turn off i have a function name turn off active and for turn for on I have a function name called turn on active and when you go into the code this is for turn off active it is basically reading all the uh, devices available from the variable and it checks whichever devices are on and accordingly populates the active device variable and turns of the devices and turn on active um, it reads the active device variable and just turns on those devices it is quite simple that way all right and uh, I'll show you how it works also let's put this in preview mode and uh, this uh, just hold on I will show you the devices so 37 is this device and 38 is this device so for now let us consider the user is using this device he is in this room he is enjoying the light from this room and now he goes out walks out of the room by pressing the one of the off buttons so in this case he switches this off so you can i don't need to stop it close it so that basically switched off this one number 38 let's check whether 
the variable got populated yes just check this is 37 and 38 and my active device is 38 so now the user walks in and he turns on so yeah this turns on now so let's say he was using both these devices and then he turned off and left the room both these devices turned off and when he comes back he turns them all on all of them gets turned on so basically it stores the memory of whatever was active and uh, works accordingly hope you find this useful Thank you.